Hey, this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and we're here in St. Clair, Michigan. We're on a new project, and we're going to be creating a pondless waterfall. Um, this client has uh, been following us on social media, and she actually came to a couple of our pond tours way back in the day. Um, we don't do them anymore. Um, it's a lot of work, and we do have a lot of, uh, a lot of projects to do. Um, maybe someday we'll get back into doing some pond tours, but anywho this is a project that we're kind of working with um, some guys that I've known for a long time in fact uh, I used to be their goalie for when we played ice hockey um, neither one of us play today but um, they're in the industry they're in the hardscape industry they do brick pavers and uh, patios and landscape plantings and that and they came in yesterday they tore out the existing paver patio and paver walkway and they'll be back next week after we create our magic. So they've got a, a brick paver walkway that they're going to put in coming off the garage here. That's just all one level. Comes around. Now this patio, the existing patio is very, very small. It had a lot of undulations in it and it was time. Um, it's kind of worn out it was kind of beyond repair so the homeowner decided to change things up go bigger do a planting bed out here they've already carved out and removed all the sod and right over here what we're going to create is a pondless waterfall in the backdrop twist turn come down into a hidden basin that kind of intersects a little bit with the um, future patio that comes in early next week we're going to have a uh, a 3,000 gallon per hour aqua surge pump inside a pondless vault. We'll have aqua blocks. We'll do a bib liner on top of the aqua blocks. We're not doing something that's uh, four feet or even three feet in height. We're looking at something maybe a foot and a half, two foot in height that slowly tapers. They're going to enlarge the bed, the landscaping bed. Um, to incorporate some arborvitaes in the backdrop to give them some privacy and that sound is just going to uh, emulate this whole area right in through here now the landscapers had pulled out some existing stones here that we're going to incorporate either with the pondless waterfall or um, just outside the pondless waterfall so that's the project it's time to get going we're going to make some magic yeah several years ago my sons and i went to gatlinburg in their smoky mountains tennessee and we stayed in a hotel that had balconies that overlooked a mountainside and a stream coming down and that's the look and the sound that we were going for and i think this is spot on so that's going to be our goal for this project is to replicate what her and her sons heard when they were on vacation in gatlinburg tennessee so we've got our job cut out and it's time to make some magic let's go So we've got the basin dug, we've got fabric down, we've got the liner, another uh, pad of fabric underneath the aqua blocks. The vault is in. What the guys are doing now is they're backfilling um, just up to the height of the aqua blocks. This space right in through here between the aqua blocks and that wall, that's going to be a shelf for larger boulders so that way the homeowner can maybe use those boulders as a sitting stone and they can sit right up against that. But this is a recessed basin, um, so we will get another drop on top of it. We'll do our bib liner on top of the aqua block, so that way we can carry the water a lot further. 
up on top we we still have to shape that today our goal today would be to um, get this all set get our piping run have our streams carved out the liner installed and the uh, spillway box installed tomorrow we'll be bringing in boulders uh, gravel fill up the system with water run it test it for any leaks make any adjustments on the uh, the edge liner trim it all off we should be out of here tomorrow All right, so we're here in St. Clair again today, and of course, it's Michigan and it's raining. But it's not gonna stop us. We're gonna keep going, and we're gonna start doing some rock work, and you'll see this magic unfold right before your eyes. So as you can see, Brian doesn't like to be wet, so he has got his full rain gear on, and he's trying to work some magic with the, uh, the stones that he's got. This one we've got a little bit of a split stream here, so we'll have water coming off of this flatter stone here and this small stone here. When we do squeeze them together and have a small stone, uh, we're going to get a lot more sound out of it. Javaris is working some magic up on top. Jay, why don't you spin that one around so I can see that. Let me see the other side of it. Keep going. There it is. Now move it straight back. So we won't have to dig that one in, Jay. We're gonna have to probably raise that one up. Actually, we're gonna have to, let's go behind it right here. Yeah. I want this tip right here. So we'll need to carve all this out to make room for it. Right yep. So fold that liner forward. You can leave the rock where it's at. Grab a shovel and take some of that soil out. So like we do on many of our features, we've got our line coming from our um, pump vault down here we've got it buried here but questioning what this valve is, or what this valve box is I open this up not all connected yet but we've got a T we've got another valve that's going to be discharge this is the flow that goes up to our aquascape spillway box but in the springtime or in the event of no pun intended a heavy rain the customer's uh, basin could overflow. And as they see that water level coming up, now they can come in here and open up this valve. From that valve, outside of the landscape bed, will be a pipe that's going to uh, discharge water out. In the spring, it's very crucial because that water stinks. So you wanna change out your water in the springtime on a pondless waterfall or water feature. Hey, you've already got the pump in place. Now you've got the valve, easy peasy. All right, need to get uh, some work done so we're not 100% drenched on this job. All right, so we're wrapped up this project. Next up is the landscapers are gonna come in. They're gonna do the um, brick paper patio and then they're gonna do some plantings. Uh, but let's hear from the homeowner what her impression is of this. So what do you think? I just love it. It's very soothing. I love the different tiers, how each of the rocks give a different look and sound. And it looks very natural. It doesn't look like it was just made. It looks like it was a little piece of Tennessee mountainside like I was going for it, so I love it. So I'm back here in uh, St. Clair 
And one of the reasons why I came back here is because the the hardscape guys, Romine Landscape, I mean, check out their link in my, uh, my description of this video. Um, they're here doing the uh, brick pavers. So I'll turn the camera around, I'll show you what they've got done since the time uh, we left. So they've got their, uh, their leveling sand in, it's called slag sand. They're leveling that out. They brought it right up to the edge of our water feature here. They're gonna square this off, get the most usable space out of this. Again, she's gonna be putting a pergola in here. So a little sitting area, maybe with a little fire pit. And then they're doing that walkway, it goes around to the front here. So here I've got Craig from Romine Landscaping. And tell me a little bit about your patio. Well, they had an old patio that was uh, had completely been compromised and negative pitch. And we removed all that and expanded the footprint to a bigger patio. So now it's gonna be 20 feet out from the house, 30 feet long, flaring down into a walk that leads to the driveway. We're gonna use Beacon Hill from Unilock, which is a big multi-size slab type patio material. It'll butt right up to the edge of Dan's pond and heavily planted with uh, evergreens, hydrangea, boxwood hedges, grasses around the pet, the water feature. Should be really cool. So check out their website. Again, it's in my link in the, the description of this video. Um, great company to work with, very easy going, and they know their stuff. I've used it myself, so there's your plug right there. You know they're good. Check them out. All right, I stopped back up here in St. Clair and I wanted to see the finished product from what Romine Landscaping has done with their brick pavers and their landscaping. So let's go check it out. All right, so right off the driveway, look at this nice brick paver patio. Just blends in really nice with the landscape. Right in through here. Nice quaint little bed with some boxwood, dogwood, some perennials opens it up to a really nice big patio now. Some steps coming off the door wall. And our poundless waterfall. So this is a wrap on our pondless waterfall up here in St. Clair, Michigan. Let us know in the comments below how you think it came out. Make it a great day.